Mountain Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. The launches kept on rolling this month with a new crew taking off from Kazakhstan. NASA astronaut Tim Kopra, British astronaut Tim Peake, and Russian cosmonaut Yuri Malenchenko blasted off from wintery Baikonur on Tuesday. The three-stage rocket took just under nine minutes to place the Soyuz spacecraft into Earth orbit, where it successfully deployed its solar arrays and headed off towards the space station. And it only took about six hours for the Soyuz to chase down the orbiting lab. The spacecraft docked successfully to the Russian Rosviet module, and the crew threw open the hatches a few hours later, bringing Expedition 46 back up to a full six members. This is COPRA's second stay on board the station, having previously served as a flight engineer for Expedition 20. Peak is on his very first flight into space and is both the first British astronaut to fly for the European Space Agency and the first Briton to visit the International Space Station. For Malenchen Co., one of humanity's most veteran space flyers who will surpass 800 cumulative days in space on this mission, this marks trip number six into space, tying the Russian record for space flights. This week's question came from Antti, who wanted to know if the new crew members will be tweeting. They sure will be. NASA's Tim Copra can be found at Astro underscore Tim, while ESA's Tim Peak can be found at Astro underscore Tim Peak. Be sure to follow along as the Tims share some of the most spectacular sights from the next six months in space. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.